And we're back in the game with some more Rome Total War and the Apple of a Contita mod, and we are playing as Egypt. Not the Ptolemy, just Egypt. And we've captured Petra already in the first episode. There's the uh, lighthouse, Pyrrhos at Alexandria. Right. It is a magnificent achievement, although uh, it's no longer with us, is it? I think earthquakes have destroyed that. Right, our uh, one and only diplomat is going to talk to the Iberians, who were in fact our last campaign playthrough in this mod. Right, I believe all we have to do is end the turn. Now I did get an alliance with the um, Seleucids in the first episode, which was also the last episode. Now we do have to wipe them out or they have to be wiped out by someone else and we just have to outlast them so at some point we will go to war with them all right nobody holds emporion yet and this looks like it's a gallic settlement we've also done a gallic campaign haven't we who did we do between Gaul and Iberia, because we wouldn't have done two factions next to each other. I think it was Thrace, wasn't it? I think it was Gaul, then Thrace, then Iberia. Right. Well, Seleucus are most was, but we've got another settlement that has just grown, and our income is going up. Is that the correct price? It is. Right. Now I'm going to very soon start recruiting some units from here. Now that could, st um, that's Crete isn't it? That could still be in the hands of rebels. Rhodes is in the hands of the Greeks but I may go and capture both of those because that would give us the three islands out here which would be good jumping off points because uh, there are six wonders in, or man-made wonders right? We have the Pharos. There are the Hanging Gardens right there. There's that big guy. There is the Colossus of Rhodes. That would give us two of the six. But then there are two more right there. So we could capture these two, get another wonder. That boosts our. Uh, naval trade doesn't it something like 40 percent and then we could come up here capture these two that would be the 6-1 statue of Zeus at Olympia right let's put a port up there and get some more trade going right you're going to upgrade fairly soon. We do have to deal with those rebels though. Alright, we run out of money. Not good, but these things happen. Alright, we do want to capture Palmyra, right? No, that's Bostra. Where is Palmyra? Is that Palmyra? It is. Alright. But we got rebels there and we got rebels there. In fact, I should have sent that general to lead a second army. Uh, I haven't even turned on my timer either. Alright, family tree. At least you're married. You'll get married very soon. He probably won't come of age in this episode. He will in the next turn. Let's see where he comes of age. I think it's age 15 where they come of age, right? Alright, he hasn't come of age. Hmm, they've allied though. Alright, should be a Gallic settlement right there. Mo trade, mo trade. Oh, map info. Yes, it's most definitely possible. Alright, so there's nothing to construct there. So 
focus. Mm. Let's get out for some more growth. Right, watchtowers are blasted expensive in this. So we actually have money left over. Right. It's probably not enough money. But soon we should have trade with probably the uh, Romans as well. We'll sail over to them. Alright. Nobody holds Massilia. None of that affects us directly. Oh yeah, that money's going up very nicely. Right, I want to start recruiting some units. Those ones are trash though. I do want to get him up above six um twelve thousand as well all right better defenses we still have money left over what do we have in there as a garrison not very good garrison all right I still expect the Seleucids to backstab us though. They've got two units of elephants in there. Look at that. There he is, he's come of age. Right, and he couldn't be in a better position. Look at that. Right, he doesn't have any retinue. No, he's rather lazy. A different commander. Uh, but he is understanding of tactics. I'm going to leave him in now. I don't think he's going to be very good out in the field. As this guy will be. Can we get away with taking all of them? No, we cannot. However, it's our cheap units. We're already on low tax, right? Yeah, we need at least one unit in there, minimum. You took a beating in the uh, last battle. Alright, so we can take that unit as well, I think. None of that affects us. Alright, Roman dock. And there's some Romans. Hmm. Do we want map info? Will they give us map info? I bet they ask for money. No, no, they did accept it. So what am I going to do with him? The only ones left up there are the Britons and the Germans. who probably won't be trading much with us. Right, let's sail back. Now, uh, Epirus is around here. Good. Now let's get some military buildings in. ASAP. Oh yeah, he's going to expand as well. Any second now. Let's 
Let's clear out those blaster rebels. Right, four units. We'll do that one manually. And another town has grown. Right. Better put you ahead of them. Right. Let's get that one. Oh, that will give us even better pikes. Alright, let's put something in there. And we'll fight you manually. I thought there were more troops in there. Maybe they pulled them out. Uh, that's, that's not Petra Bostra. That's it. Bostra. Ooh, it's a sandstorm. Well, it looked like a sandstorm from up there, didn't it? It's certainly very hazy. It's a hazy shade of winter. That's a big line of pikes. Are they going to run away? No, they're actually coming forward, aren't they? Despite the fact that we're attacking them and we vastly outnumber them in uh, men and quality. Well, it looked like they were coming forward. Right. Are those slingers? They are, aren't they? Arabian slingers, probably. Group those, have them coming up. Hmm, probably a uh, skirmish cavalry, Bedouin, camel warriors, maybe. Yeah, they do have bows. We're too far away to see what name they have. But they're about to start firing. They've got better range than we have, at least at the moment. And we are getting shot up. I don't know why, but that music sounds very loud during the battle and not so loud during the campaign. Still sounds pretty loud. Right. Oh, that's actually the lowest tier pike unit we have. Should put them up here. I think I'm going to have to send up that light cavalry to try and chase him away. Because they're going to be causing us some trouble.
Still sounds blasted loud. Right, try to get to him. Chase him off. Bedouin camel archers. Uh, they do have those spearmen in there though. I think we'll bypass them. Don't stop. I know you got caught by the other spears. But keep moving. Did you destroy them? Why are you coming back over there? Deal with the camel man. Camel archers. We're definitely going to need to replace or retrain those. Hmm, those are on guard mode as well. Sure, if any of them got away, I don't think many of them did. All right, they are panicked. We might lose our general, but I think we'll be okay. Still holding. Nope. We've gone. Pity the fool. Right, you can stop moving as you have. Finish move. All right. Can we reach Bostra? Nope. We cannot. Because there's not a good road network. All right. No, you got hung up on them. We'll drop you off probably over there in the Balkans. Well, that's Greece, but we'll drop you off here. You can talk to Epirus, Macedon, uh, the Greeks, Thrace, uh, Dacia, and Thrace. And another town has expanded. Yee! Although that's C Day. We could put in better defences as well, though. Right. Uh, 
That will get us an extra 200 per turn. Not put in roads though. Alright, keep on moving. Wish we had some artillery already. Right, a lot of uh, population there, a lot of population there, but no good military buildings just yet. 700 in corruption. I'm trying to think the best way of expanding so we don't incur too much corruption. I think we'll just, oh, faction leader Hekamut has died. Right, unfortunately, right there, still 4.5% growth. And they are quite happy as well. So we'll just do that so we can keep the growth up. Haukim. Can I even use Haukim? Does that translate over to my temples? It does to Horus. Yep, that money's going up very nicely. Right, we can now get those. Get some better defences. Ah, there's the Greeks right there. Ooh, and the upper at sound of that one. So we can talk to all of them. That's unusual by the upper at. Alright, so no one else what we want to talk to there. I'm still going to land over there. That's good. Extra trade. Currently, trade 4500. Still only half the tax rate. But it is catching up to farming. Right, they left the elephants there, but took out some other units. They might have tried to capture Palmyra. Aha, they backstabbed us. That didn't take long, did it? Betrayed. And yet another town has grown. <clears throat> Good. Because we're going to need to start recruiting from there. That will give us the heavy have. Right, as well, boost your taxes. So, how many can we move from there? Really, not very many. Well, there's some Macedonians.
Right, and who's that? Greeks. Well, we won't be attacking the Greeks anytime soon, but we will see who occupies that island. Crete. Alright. Well, at least they only sent their navies against us so far. Oh, come on. Pride? That has to cost a lot of money. Just as I was putting that other building in there. Right, where did you get married? At Jerusalem. Alright. Well, they do have a general in there. But you've got a good population. We might try to find our way out of there. Blast their eyes. Right, should be some Thracians around there. Right, we found some of them. Right, looks like it's still a rebel settlement. Blast them. Right, that's gone up. Hmm, even if we send the cavalry and the general. How's that looking? 15. Let's see if we can win this one. Yep, even on uh, easy campaign difficulty, I think we've got an easy campaign difficulty and very hard battles. But even on easy uh, campaign, didn't take long for them to betray us. Right, that's my um, Jewish unit. Okay, they're all the way up there, on top of that blasted um, hill. It's not going to be fun, is it? A very strong defensive position. Oh, are they going to come off? Well, that certainly benefits me if they do greatly yeah they do bribe your settlements in this not that often but most campaigns I've had at least one settlement bribe from me I think in my Iberian campaign it was the Romans who were bribing my settlements, and I went and did the same to them. They didn't like it any more than I did. Nope, they've moved forward. A lot of archers. They're going to start firing. There they go. Everyone needs to run. Run, 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 run. Make sure you avoid them. Same with you. Oh, he's got 71 men. Is that my leader? Oh, 
Alright, Pike's down. Ooh, he's getting beat up. Oh, he didn't do anything to that rebel general. He lost 21 men compared to about 5. Well, we've destroyed the rest of their units. He really is having trouble. He might get killed. Uh, can I get him away? I think he might get killed. Try to draw them back over here towards my units. Yeah, yeah, 71 men. He lost 58 already. That was bad. <coughs> he wasn't doing any damage. Thought I killed those off as well. Uh, they have nowhere to go, so we will die. We might as well get some experience. Still, that was a lot who got away. You were still losing men. Ah, you got away. Shame on them. Ooh, get that one. No, oh, we lost a lot of men now. Almost looked like that general was going to get killed off. Right, I did survive. Not no very good units in there at the moment. Right, if we get that, we can put in regular stone walls. How's that one looking? Blasted Sea Day. When I get my army up there, I'm going to massacre everyone. Bunch of traders. Hmm, sixty-six. No, we're not ready to grow. Sixty-one. We don't have any more enough money. Right, we've moved our diplomat. So I guess we'll end the second episode there. So we've captured two settlements, but we've lost one through despicable treachery.